I'm always looking at what is hot right now, what can I sell, what am I good at, and what is scalable. My name's Rudy Moore, host of Living the Red Life podcast, and I'm here to change the way you see your life in your earpiece every single week. If you're ready to start living the red life, ditch the blue pill, take the red pill, join me in Wonderland, and change your life. Welcome back to another episode of Living the Red Life. Today, we are gonna play an interesting scenario out and hopefully you'll get a lot of takeaways from me doing this. So I'm gonna talk to you today if I had lost Emmering and I was starting out and what I would do to make my next million dollars, right? Or to remake a million dollars. And hopefully this is gonna to appeal to you if you're starting out, if you're trying to pivot, if you're trying to restart your life, maybe, uh, maybe you're trying to quit a job, maybe you're in a business or a business model right now or, or a company you started what you don't really enjoy and you wanna shut it down and restart. And that's kind of okay. I've transitioned three times now in my life, built my fitness business to several million a year, lost interest in it, got really obsessed and in, into marketing and ads and uh, making money on the internet. And I kind of was very passionate about that. So I knew I needed to move into the more entrepreneurship space. So I did that. I basically closed my fitness business down, started an agency up and we got to 50, 100K a month very quickly within a couple of months. And then um, we scaled to a few million a year. And then um, COVID hit and I was kind of already a few months before I was planning to step out the agency. I wanted to go back into my own personal brand and something new. Um, and I appointed a kind of CEO or a director to take over the agency. COVID hit and it was perfect timing because I know I wasn't traveling. I knew I wouldn't get many clients. So I was like, well, it's great timing. I'm ready to launch something new. Um, I'm not traveling anymore. I have a lot of time. I know the world's going to change because of COVID. So I did that and left my agency. It's still alive today, does well. Um, still does millions a year. And uh, I started More Capital, which is this red brand uh, that most of you don't know. You don't know anything else because you probably only followed me in the last couple of years. And we did $10 million in our first two years. So, uh, and look, who knows, maybe this will all close down one day and I'll build to a hundred million with the next thing. And then maybe that'll close one day and I'll build the billion dollar company. Who knows how it will, will go, but I want to give you that mindset of like what I do when I do this kind of restart. Cause both of them are restarts, not for any reason. I mean, the fitness business, I had my, all my ad accounts shut down. So that was like the final kick, uh, the final push out the front door to pursue the marketing and business side, which I was getting really passionate about. Um, and then COVID, I guess, was the kick out the front door. So maybe there's a kick out the front door scenario or moment in your life right now. Make a, you know, maybe take a second to think about it. Um, and I really think they become like blessings in disguise. And that's mindset, right? Most of you see them as most people, maybe not you listening, but most people see them as tragedies. They'll spend two years complaining. That'll become their story in five, 10 years. They'll say, yeah, I nearly was successful. I was nearly a millionaire. Now I work a job I hate because of this. And the beauty of life is you can define your story, right? So your story can be this bad thing happened, COVID happened and ruined my business. Or I was crushing it and, and all my ad accounts and marketing got shut down. I had to close my business. You can define your story. Sadly, most people stories are defined in negativity. This happened, I had to close it down. And now I'm in a, a job that, uh, you know, I might find okay, but it's not my true legacy, right? And I can't imagine anything worse in life, living 30, 40, 50 more years, knowing that you were, you had some greatness potential and you settled for average, right? You, you let your story be defined in a suboptimal way. And you know, who knows how old age is, but I can imagine when I'm 80, 90, 100, who knows, uh, and I'm maybe not in the best of health and my life's coming to an end, I wanna be lying there in a bed knowing that I did everything, right? And I lived life to the fullest and I created something great and I didn't settle for average and I took risk and I took a lot of hits and losses but I built something great because of that. I think it's really important that you push through those negative moments to find your story. And then maybe you'll be sat on a podcast like this with thousands of people listening and uh, be able to tell those stories where something went wrong and it actually created something new out of it that became great. And for me, you know, it, it did both times, right? But that's, it's not because I got lucky. It's not because I'm smarter than everyone else. It's because I, 
used it as an opportunity to do something great and I was very optimistic about it and then I, I went after it and that's you having to do that to define your story. So let's talk about how if I lost it or what I'd do where I'd go from here. Maybe today's episode I hope can be a catalyst for at least one of you to redefine your story. Um, and hopefully redefine your life and change the path of life. Because life, you know, if you're watching on video, life is like you're in this path right now. And then there's diagrams on the internet where one decision can split off two different paths. And over 5, 10, 20 years, those paths can split off um, and form two tr totally different lives, different husbands, wives, uh, children, places you live, whether it's England or America or somewhere else or a different state. Um, whether you're a millionaire or you're working a job you hate, and, and they can often come from this one split decision. And, and that's why I do, like many you know, famous entrepreneurs and people like me, uh, that's why we do content like this to hopefully motivate, inspire, and support other people on their journey. So uh, hopefully this is a catalyst for some of you to take that leap of faith uh, and define your story you know, maybe give you some good tactical advice for the rest of this podcast on what to do if you're restarting or starting out, right? So for me, if I'm starting out, if I lost it all, or I make a big pivot because of whatever, you know, life event is happening or global events such as COVID, I'm always looking at what is hot right now? What can I sell? What am I good at? And what is scalable, okay? So what's hot right now? What do I? What am I passionate about? I really think it's important to do stuff you're passionate about and um, correlate that to stuff that makes a lot of money. If you've got to have those two things. Um, and we might throw some boring businesses into our entity structure on the side, but it's not the thing that's getting me up at 6 a.m., right? And then what's scalable, right? So for me, when COVID hit, I was really good at courses, challenges, online programs, COVID hit, and everyone was launching, well, not everyone, but a few people, uh, including myself, launched these online challenges, a great opportunity to show people how to go online and make money and make a business. So I jumped on that train, uh, and, and I remember I set up my ads and built a funnel one day and set them up myself that night, used some of my team from the agency. And I mean, I woke up and we had done $5,000 and that day we did 5,000 more and the next day a few thousand and the next day a few thousand. I'm like, okay, this is a thing. And that was because I'm an expert at what I do. So I hit, you know, what you'd say a home run, right? But it's like I hit a home run because I've swung a baseball bat a million times. So for you, think about that core thing, right? And look at the marketplace. So if I was going to start today, I'd probably do something with AI and we're thinking about doing some AI businesses and courses. Um, I would look at where the world's at, right? Is there a health epidemic? Is there a new problem in the world? Is there a new thing that people are focused on, right? And what's super hot right now? I would look at what am I passionate about? Well, I'm passionate about travel. I'm passionate about money. I'm passionate about food. I'm passionate about um, health. So like what fits in those categories? And then what's scalable, right? So I'm not looking at oh, this is only a thing in my local area, or this is only a thing that's going to last one month. What is scalable that I could really dive into that for the next two or three or four or five or 10 years could make me tens of millions of dollars, okay? And for you, you might only want to make a million, so maybe that's less of an issue, but make sure it's scalable at least to a few million, right? Because if not, you don't want to create a $50,000 business and then have to figure out where to go from there. So have a look at what's hot in the marketplace. There's a lot of websites, Google, you can Google this, right? Just look at search trends, look at Google search trends, look at top selling products, look at industries that are growing, rapidly growing industries, look at rapidly growing companies right now. You can go and look at Shopify analytics, look at the top Shopify stores. You can look at the stock market, what's shooting up right now. Um, so there's so many ways to analyze the industry. And then one thing I like to do is I just look at social media, right? I, I'm always analyzing what's coming up on social media. So biohacking is a big one. Ice baths are a big one. Uh, AI is a massive one that I see all the time. A lot of uh, unique foods coming out, people making bakeries and unique foods and, and food items. So there's a lot of um, innovation that comes from looking at social media and look at what's trending. 
Um, and I think that's a great place for most of us to start because if we like, we might not like to admit it, but we will spend and uh, waste a lot of time on there, right? So use that time while you're wasting it, quote unquote, to be looking at trends. Um, so next thing is you've, you've got these ideas, right? And then I always go the next step of, I don't want to just try and figure this out. I want to look at what's successful. So I'm looking at different business models already. So if I'm looking at AI, right? Say I want to do a, uh, a, biz a course on how to use AI to make money on the internet. I'm going to look at uh, different courses, programs, and people that are doing similar. So I'm going to look at what are some of the best-selling courses on making money on the internet without AI, just making money on the internet. And then I'm going to go, well, I'm just going to look at that, reverse engineer that, and add AI into it, right? And then I'm looking at the opposite. I'm looking at what are all the top AI courses right now? How are people doing it, right? Maybe there's a landing page and a website where the AI, you know, I already, I've already had this idea, I'll share it publicly now, is I was going to do a course and a landing page and ads where AI did everything. So I was going to sell a course on AI marketing where AI created everything. So it's like the whole theme is, hey, you're reading this, you're reading this ad, you're taking this course. Well, guess what? AI actually did it all, right? And even do the video where I upload, you can do it now where I upload my voice um, and video footage, I think like five, 10 hours, and then it recreates it. So I'm like, even this video isn't me, it's AI, right? And the only thing I did or one of my staff did was pull all the pieces together and tell AI what to do. And then I was gonna do uh, within that show where you give AI money, right? And you say, hey, AI, you're gonna get uh, $500 to start a business and then you watch it for 30 days and you do it like 10 times and show all these different scenarios. So maybe you like that idea for a course. If you do, let me know on social media, Instagram, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll create it in the end. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Before we go into the rest of this episode, I'm gonna interrupt abruptly and just ask you one big favor. I hope you're getting a ton of value, a ton of knowledge. I hope you're getting some breakthroughs from myself and the guests, and I want one thing in return. What I would love is for you to subscribe and leave a review. The reviews and the subscription grows the podcast. It allows me to bring you even better guests. It allows me to invest even more time and money into this podcast to bring you the latest and greatest, the best entrepreneurs from around the world that are crushing life, crushing their business, and giving you all the tools, the mindset hacks, the knowledge, and the environment you need to be successful. So do me a favor, if you've got any amount of value from today's episode so far, or any previous episode, or any of the content I've done, it would mean the world to me if you hit a five-star review, give us your feedback on the show, the episodes, and and subscribe and download. Plus, if you do that and send me a screenshot on Instagram at Rudy Moore Life, I will send you a bunch of my free training, marketing courses, sales courses worth $499. Yes, $500 worth of courses for a simple 30 second review. It would mean the world to me. Send me that screenshot. I would love for you to leave that review and I would appreciate it very, very much so we can keep growing this show and make it awesome. So let's get back into the episode. I appreciate you guys and let's dive back in. You see how I'm getting creative there, right? So hopefully that was a good random example of um, taking an idea and then being creative and making it unique, right? Which is going to lead me to the, the next point after I finish this one, which is modeling success. So I'm looking at all the make money online programs, and then I'm looking at all the AI programs and how they're building it, how they're selling it, how they're advertising it. And then I'm using all of that data to make my own. And I'm starting with a lot of high chance of success because I'm modeling success. And then the next part is unique selling point, right? And I kind of just gave you that, that, hey, I have a cool idea for an AI marketing business course, but there's already people doing that, I'm sure thousands of people, right? How do I stand out? Well, I, I maybe have just not seen because I haven't researched it much, but my idea there I like because it's like really cool and funny where it's like, hey, you're buying a course made by AI just with my prompts on how to make money with AI. And I mean, I could do some really cool ads around that, right? And maybe it's me for 10 seconds opening it up. Hey, in the next 60 seconds, you're gonna see a course on how to use AI to make money without you even having to be involved. In fact, in the next three seconds, I'm gonna leave and you're gonna see the AI take over to finish this ad, right? That's a pretty cool ad. And all the marketers and people would be probably find that interesting. So I'm finding my unique selling point, right? So look at what your idea is, what your concept is, what you want to do, um, and make sure it's got some pivot. You want to pivot left or right, just one step, 
what you don't want to do is just resell the exact same thing. How do I pivot one step to the side now to make something a little more unique, a little more buzzy, a little more catchy? Um, and there's so many ways to do that. You have to be creative. It's not that hard um, if you're creative. So have a look at you know all your concepts and ideas. Look at marketplace gap. Hey, what in the marketplace would I do? And then you go ahead and create it, okay? So now you've got your main concepts, you've got your ideas, you've got what you're passionate about, you've got what's hot and trending. You figured out, hey, who's doing similar already? How can I model success? Because that's really the blueprint, right? How they do the website, the landing pages, the do they have a phone sales team? What sort of ads are they running? Are they using social media influencers? Are they on TV? Are they on radio? Are they on podcasts? And at the end of the day, any new business needs an advertising method, right? So you're looking at what that is. Then you're looking at how do I make this unique? How do I create a spin-off? Okay. Next is test because all of those things are great, but you're not going to make any money, right? And all those three things I want to do in an hour or a day or two days or a week. I want to get all these concepts and then I want to move on. So I don't want to spend three months and then go, okay, now I'm going to build out and test this. I'll spend three more months. You spent six months on something that's probably not going to work. You know, high probability of failure. Most ideas do fail. You have to come and be accepting of that. So I want to fail fast. And I've talked about this on different podcasts uh, and videos. Like the quicker you can fail, in my opinion, the quicker you can find success. So I'm like taking these concepts and I'm like, how can I test this? Well, for me as a marketer, it's going to be different to you for, or most of you. For me, I'm going to build a landing page and I'm going to run ads to it. If I had my following still, I would send an email out and I would post it. Um, I might even before any of this, even after this uh, podcast filming it, right, I might go on my Instagram and do a poll and get, I might go into um, my email and do a quick survey. Hey, I've got this new idea for a course. AI is big right now. AI marketing's massive. Well, I want to create a course on AI marketing with some of the world's top experts. And I'm also going to make heart most of the course and show you what can be done from AI. I'm actually not going to create it. I'm going to bring in experts and I'm going to use AI to make the rest of it. And I'm going to document the process. Then I'm going to show you how AI with some of my money can actually start and build some businesses and you can see that process and how you could use AI into your businesses or start a new business using AI, right? So I might go and send that email out and say, if you're interested, reply with the keyword AI or take this two minute survey and I'll give you 50% off when it launches or I'll give you beta access for free. Boom, send it out. So for me, and that's if I have my entities, right? If I have nothing, if I started from zero, uh, I would maybe go to other marketers or people with that audience and say, hey, I've got this new course coming out. Would love to promote it to your list. I'll give you 90% of revenue, right? I don't need the revenue. It's free marketing for me, free exposure, and I'll sell those customers more. I just want testimonials. I want proof of concept. If you uh, get some results there, great. If you don't, well, you're going to have to promote it yourself on your own socials, maybe DMing people that are your demographic. Uh, my preference is ads. If you've got a bit of money, I'll be spending fifty, hundred dollars a day just testing some ads, testing some ads to it, looking for traction there, looking for a few sales, and then I would start to scale it up. So, like that's the A to Z. If I lost it all, how I would start with creating a new product, right? It could be a physical product where I'm drop shipping or white labeling to start or reselling. Could be a, a course. I've just given you a whole blueprint on how I would do that around an AI course. Uh, this is all copyright. None of you can, <laughs> please don't steal it. After that, right, you're just testing it and you're understanding, hey, I got to test fast. Um, this might fail or this initial idea at least might not be the right idea. I might have to pivot a couple more steps to the left or right. So I want to figure that out quickly. The biggest competitive advantage that I would have and I had when COVID hit was within a week I was doing this, launching it, and I scaled it to a few thousand dollars a day, right? I was scaling it to thousands of dollars a day, even to a point where some of the biggest business gurus in the world that you have millions of followers that you know reached out to me about it and wanted me to do a, you know, a conversation with them about partnerships or doing it for them. So I'm fast to move and I'm quick to scale because what happens is, especially with trends, when you're looking at trends, if you're not quick to scale, someone else comes and does it over you and takes over, right? That's how you launch it A to Z. 
The only other side I've not talked about is if you lost it all and it's like, hey, I don't really want, even want to do a business. I think free, like freelancing is my favorite. I'm obviously biased as my opinion. I'm not saying it's the only thing, but I think it's an amazing opportunity online to make thousands of dollars freelancing. I always joke with my, you know, close family, my parents and uh, wife, they, you know, if they ever get worried with the business or whatever happened, I'm like, guys, no need to worry. If I lost everything, if I literally did and shut everything down, as long as I didn't lose my reputation and brain, <laughs> I could easily earn a million dollars a year freelancing because I'm very highly paid, skilled, great reputation and world class at what I do. I could easily make a million dollars a year consulting and freelancing. Now, of course, I'm not saying you guys will do that. I'll make close to that. I'm obviously one of the best in the world when it comes to ads and marketing, so I can demand a high fee. But you can start freelancing and maybe earn five, 10 grand a month, more realistic number, uh, if you're really good, or at least a few thousand on the side, right? So I would look at similar process. What do I love? What's hot? What am I passionate about? And, and just go through those variables. And then there's amazing platforms like Upwork, Freelancer, Fiverr, Facebook groups, all these amazing platforms where you can actually go and post your skills. And I always say, if you're going to take the freelancing route, work for free, do some free examples, get some portfolios, get some referrals. A lot of people today are very hungry and short-sighted. I've got 90% of my success with great partners, with celebrities, with new opportunities saying, yeah, let's just try it. I'll work for free. Let's just go ahead and get started. Let me prove myself. And I, that opens every door because it's hard to say no if someone's confident, if they are well-known, a good track record, even if they've not, if they're confident and they're a great person, great personality, good energy, it, there's very low risk for anyone to ever say no. Uh, and some of my biggest celebrity clients, super A-list that I can't even name, some of the top 20, 30, 50 most famous people in the world, I've got in those doors and built those relationships because of me just saying, just let me prove myself, okay? I won't, I won't mention the name, I won't charge anything, I won't do anything, just let me prove myself. So, and even now, right, even with all my success, I still know when is a good time to do that. Uh, and then the difference is sometimes I sit down with a client or my team do that wants to work with me, and it's like, hey, it's 100,000 minimum paid in advance, and then it's 20,000 a month, and that's how you get your foot in the door and get to work with Rudy. So. I know when to, you know, when I should charge what I'm worth and when, you know, if it's a top, one of the top 50 most famous people in the world, I might be like, hey, just give me a chance, <laughs> right? Give me, give me 30 days, give me 90 days because I want to prove myself and I see the opportunity. So don't ever be afraid of having that abundance, confidence mindset, right? So there you go. There's a, a, a walkthrough of, you know, where I've had restarts in life. If I lost it all, what I would do, how I would focus, and hopefully it's given you a bit of a framework. Hopefully it's given you a bit of inspiration too on it's not it's not a bad thing to pivot, but you shouldn't do it too often and you shouldn't keep doing it. If you notice in 10, 12 years, I've really done it two times, maybe three if you count, when I left England, moved to America, three. And I think the more successful I become, you know, there's going to be opportunities where I don't pivot totally like I have in the past. It's more I add on stuff. That's kind of what I'm doing now. I'm not pivoting totally and shutting stuff down, but I'm actually st stacking it on top of what I'm currently doing. And that's how you stack on wealth. You look at most billionaires, very rarely do they do it through one thing. I mean, there's some unicorn companies that exit, but very rarely is it built through one thing. It's, it's called stacking, right? Where you're stacking opportunities, businesses, entities, synergies. So there you have it. There's uh, my, a bit of my story and uh, hopefully some next steps for you if you're in that pivotal moment. I hope this uh, gave you that kick out the front door like I've had many times or several times. Uh, and I would love to know how you get on, what you start, what you create. Please, uh, you know, hit me up on Instagram. Let me know if you enjoy, enjoy today's episode. Please help us continue to do these, continue to rank, continue to inspire, educate, motivate, and help other people by leaving a review. It means a lot. And as always, if you leave a review, send me an Instagram screenshot of it. And we have a $3,000 course. It's one of our mastery marketing courses. It includes trainings in all key elements of marketing. It's worth $1,000. And we will send you that for free just to say thank you. So that's my gift to you. And I appreciate you all. Until next time, keep living the red life. Take care.